Hello and welcome to my channel, Hardware AI. This is going to be another video in know-how series discussing an implementation of a specific feature or technique. In comments to my articles and videos, I get all, lots of questions about such tasks as face recognition, license plate recognition, emotion, gender recognition, etc. These are all cases when you want to utilize multi-stage inference. Multi-stage inference in computer vision most of the time involves a combination of these two. What is the main benefit of using multi-stage inference? Object detection networks in general and the ones used on embedded devices in particular are not very good at distinguishing between multiple similar classes of objects. So what we very often do is use object detection network to detect a large class of objects, for example, a face or a car or a dog, and then crop out the image and rescale it, the result of detection to be fed to image classification network, which gives a much more nuanced output. For example, the emotion on the face, car model, or dog breed. Another popular use case for multi-stage inference is OCR, or optical character recognition. Instead of performing detection of every character in the whole image, which is resource intensive and prone to errors, most often uh, we first detect the text and then recognition is performed on pieces of text cropped out of large image. For this exercise, let's take car model recognition as an example. In Edge Impulse, train a car detector. This should be fairly easy since we are using transfer learning and the base model already was trained to detect cars. So it contains the necessary feature maps. For image recognition model training, we are going to use a subset of Stanford Cars dataset with six car model classes. I picked six classes of cars that I think I will be able to encounter while walking outside here in Shenzhen, China. After training the model and uh, optionally checking the detection and recognition accuracy on pictures that you can take with web camera or find on the internet, let's deploy these two models on an embedded device. I have used ReTerminal a Raspberry Pi 4 compute module based development board with a touch screen in a sturdy plastic case. It comes in handy while on field trips like the one I'm going to take. Raspberry Pi 4 compute module has the same CPU as Raspberry Pi 4 development board but has an option to include onboard eMMC memory. The module in ReTerminal has 4 GB of RAM and 32 GB of eMMC. First of all, you'll need to download the models for car detector and car classifier, which you can do by using Edge Impulse Linux runner, logging uh, first to the project for car detection and then run the following commands, uh, which is Edge Impulse Linux runner download car detector um, dot in, uh, and then log into your car classifier project, and uh, then oh, you'll need to run clean command clear command and then you'll need to log in into car classifier project and download the model for car classification then if you look at the multi-stage inference script you'll see that it's actually very similar to the scripts for object detection and uh, image classification basically it combines these two you'll see that uh, the main uh, main function of these scripts is very similar uh, with the exception that we obviously have two models now 
So we're getting the pass for detection model, for the classification model, and then creating the context for both of the models at the same time. Uh, then we get the information about the models and print it out. Then we find the suitable web camera here. And then um, here is for loop that is going to acquire the images from web camera and then uh, return the detection results and the, uh, uh, and the uh, processed image. Then what we do is uh, for each bounding box of the object that we found, uh, we are cropping that bounding box out of the image and then resize it to the uh, uh, classification model input size. And then we are we performing the inference on that small image with the classification model. And then finally, we do some pretty printing here. And also, I added the uh, draw result function, which uh, obviously does what it says exactly here. It draws the uh, both detection bounding box and the classification result. And you already saw um, how it works in the previous video. Alternatively, you can do multi-stage inference using another framework of your choice. Have a look at the Jupyter Notebook I prepared, which uses Accelerate, a Keras-based network for AI on the edge. There, I trained small mobile net version 1 Alpha 0.25 YOLO V3 detector to detect vehicles and slightly larger mobile net V version 1 Alpha 0.5 for classifying all the cars in Stanford Cars dataset. If you want to deploy them on Raspberry Pi, it should be fairly trivial to change the detection and classification example scripts in Accelerate, in Accelerate example scripts folder to make them into a multi-modal pipeline. You can have a look at, um, at seed, machine, uh, seed Python machine learning repository uh, where I have added new example which you can find on TensorFlow Lite multi-stage inference vehicle type. So you'll be able to run multi-stage file to perform inference on a sample file which is good for benchmarking. So let's try doing that right now. Before, obviously before you run these examples you'll need to install TensorFlow Lite for TensorFlow Lite on your Raspberry Pi or eTerminal. Uh, it is best to use uh, TensorFlow Lite version with XN and PAC delegate, uh, which uh, currently is able of accelerating the float 32 inference. And uh, there is work to accelerate uh, quantized integer 8 inference as well. Uh, here at Box Models, I have uh, float 32, and it's running, with, as you see, uh, with XN and PAC delegate for CPU. All right, and then you'll be able to download this demo to your computer. And uh, let's have a look, it's here. Okay, that's nice, that, that is McLaren. This is definitely Tesla, and I think I can see with Musk over there. Okay, um, this is Hummer, that's for sure. I'm not sure which car is that. And nope, I don't know this car. That looks like Audi. Okay, um, and then if you'd like to run the inference on the stream, you just uh, run the uh, uh, multi-stage stream. Okay, that's great. Tesla. Uh, little more confused about this one. Not confused about this one at all. Okay. Right. And if you want to learn more about how to train your machine learning models in Edge Impulse for inference on embedded systems, not only for uh, images, but also for sound and other sensor data, uh, you're welcome to have a look at the Introduction to Embedded Machine Learning course on Coursera by Sean Heimel and Edge Impulse. This video is going to be present in second part of this course, uh, which is going to focus on single board computers. In conclusion, do we really need to do we really need multi-stage inference and could object detection model do both detection and find grade classification? There are some models 
that can perform detection and large class size classification pretty well, such as YOLO 9000. Not suitable for running on embedded devices with constrained resources. So for now, multi-stage inference is best technique we have in our computer vision arsenal for this type of application.